Estres. Good, 11 News reporter Jim Franciotti up in New York this morning with trainer Holly Estres, who once again will be joining us to train our puppy with a purpose. Jen, this is the ideal assignment today. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it couldn't be any better. And it's great to see Holly again. And it's so awesome to be working now with the Guide Dog Foundation. They, of course, are the sister organization to America's Vet Dogs. And when last we saw you, we were all saying goodbye to Brooksy. Yeah, but Brooks is doing great. I've seen Brooks and Jesse. We go swimming at Pet Depot. And it's like... They're the perfect team, so I'm so excited about that. And then you've been busy since pairing up Brooks and Jesse together. You actually raised another dog, we Jackson. We got a new puppy for the America's Vet Dogs. His name is Jackson, and we had him for 11 months, and yesterday we dropped him off for his formal training here. Wow, so talk about full circle. Not only did she drop off Jackson, she got introduced to our new puppy with a purpose, and you're going home with the puppy tonight, which is great. Yes. But you also <laughs> had another reunion yesterday. You got to meet up with Georgie and uh, his, his person, Nancy, Nancy. Yeah. yes. And so, and George was a, is a guide dog. Yep. He's been with Nancy for three years, and they are the most amazing team. Seeing them work together is so inspiring. It made it so much easier to drop off Jackson to have them with us when we did it. I mean, so incredible, and she has an incredible story. She was actually a wild animal keeper for the Wildlife Conservation Society, and she traveled all over the world. Yep. And she did collars for... She did collars for Jaguars, mm -hmm. uh, radio collars. She helped uh, maintain and track yeah, the uh, howler monkeys in Belize. And she actually worked at the Bronx Zoo yeah. for 16 years training sea lions and primates. All of that stopped, though, when she started to lose her vision. Yeah. It's hard. The zoo, uh, you, have, you can't work with the animals if you can't see them. Right. I got to a point where... Uh, I couldn't do anything anymore. I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't work. I, could, I couldn't do anything. And, and it was a really bad, dark time in my life. Um, I really didn't know what I was going to do. And I applied to the Guide Dog Foundation. And Georgie has changed my life in so many ways. I, I wake up every morning just, OK, what are we doing today? Every day is an adventure with this dog. And in fact, Nancy says that she walks anywhere from 4 to 12 miles a day with Georgie, and, and they go everywhere together. It's crazy. I love following her Facebook because she posts pictures in Coney <laughs> Island, all over Brooklyn. It's just, it's incredible. And they're such a great team. And they walk so fast, I can't keep up. It's crazy. Uh, I mean, incredible. <laughs> and she says that sometimes George even makes the decision where they're going for the day. And he now even knows, apparently, where to stop on the different circles they have for social distancing inside mm -hmm. stores. I mean, he's just that smart. He's that smart, and Nancy works amazingly with him, and he knows everything. She's like, do you want to take the bus today, or do you want to walk? And he makes the choice. And we're <laughs> going to be talking about the Guide Dog Foundation all morning long and what they do and their really mission to help people get, gain their freedom back, really, once yes. they lose their vision. Yeah, I know for her, she, when, we, when we first met her, she's like, I went into a store one day, and you know I couldn't find my way around. She goes, and I said I was never going again, and then she applied. Which is Got really dog, incredible. There, there they are. And so puppies here get put with their puppy razors at eight weeks for the Guide Dog Foundation. And then they're going to stay with you 14 to 18 months mm -hmm. before they come back for formal training. But how does one pick a puppy with the purpose? We're going <laughs> to check in with the puppy program manager in just a little while to find out what makes our puppy so special. You guys, I, I, I mean, I'm staring at the puppy right now. <laughs> oh, I, I don't mean to tease you, but I'm just telling Jen. you, as Jen. soon as we're done, we're going to the puppy. Okay, this is not right. This ain't right. That's like us telling you Lamar Jackson is here. We can right. see him. We exactly. wouldn't do that to you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm being mean. I'll stop. <laughs> Jen Franciotti live up in uh, New York, and soon we'll see a brand new puppy. Thanks, Jen. Bye.